Today we're going to learn how to make free-form flying geese using four tools. A flexible curve, available on my website. We're going to use a small ruler, a mechanical pencil, and an eraser in case you change your mind and you don't like what you draw. So I'm going to scoot those out of the way and we're going to look just at the flexible curve, which I just adore. I love this because it's so fluid it makes these lovely curves and you almost cannot even make it make a corner. And so I'm not one of these people that can just draw a free form line. I'm going to go right in the middle of my paper and I'm just going to audition my line using my flexible curve. I'm going to scoot it down a little bit more. I'm going to draw a line just like that with my pencil. And when I draw the line on the other side, I'm going to make it narrower on one and wider on the other. This gives a lot of dimension to your drawing. And there we have a really nice curved path. And now I'm going to use my pencil and my ruler. I'm going to start right in the middle. I'm just going to draw a line across which looks like it's probably perpendicular on both sides. It really isn't, but um, that's really what you want to aim for. And we're going to make a series of little bricks along our path. And as the path gets wider, the bricks get wider. And as we go around a curve, ooh, look at that, we can go all the way out to there. I'll make a really wide one. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to have a little funky one there. What are we going to do with that? We'll have to come back and visit that later. Now, I like to always draw away from my middle line, so I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to come back in and draw the geese, the bricks going the other way. And as my path gets narrower, so do my bricks. And when I get out here to the end, man, they're really teeny weeny tiny. But once we've got that done, we need to find the middles. And I like to just eyeball it like this. Use my pencil. If you're not in the middle, really, it doesn't really matter. No one is ever going to know. And then we're going to put our geese in right here. So we're going to line it up. And we're just going to draw a half of a goose. We're going to do that all the way across. And what you find is when you draw this half a goose pattern, this really is a different design, which is called picket fence. And then we're going to come back in and fill in the other side, like this. Notice that I always plant my pencil first, and then I slide the ruler up to it and pivot around the pencil. I also tend to draw really dark lines because I know that I have to trace everything because this is my master and I never cut my master up. And here we have a really nice row of freeform flying geese, except for this goofy one down in the bottom. But in order to create the illusion, you have to actually pretend that there was another goose there. So we're going to draw some imaginary lines that are more or less parallel with this, this goose. And there you have it, freeform flying geese.